How do we, the cheerleaders who want to create community, break through to the people that maybe have a wall up? You know, like how you kind of just, you said with when you were trying to break into a community with in other interior designers, you kind of felt like you're hitting a wall each time because they were like, whoa, pump your brakes, right? So how do we empower other people to create that community and how can we break through to those that maybe have a wall up? I think you just have to continue, even with my business, as I began to bring some designers around me. I, you have to chip away like an ice. It's a big ice cube sometimes, and you just got to keep chipping away at it. But with that, what I mean is, is I had to just keep with my words. I had to keep doing the actions. Um, I had to show them, Hey, how are you doing today? Just checking on you. I encouraged them on their own social media post. If they did a great job, I wasn't just blowing smoke. I was like, this is a great job. You should be proud. Um, it was encouraging other designers, um, but not only on social media on the front side, I encouraged them on the back side where nobody saw so they could see that I wasn't just for show. Mm -hmm. I was really trying to be that supportive fellow industry leader, fellow designer that supported them, that wanted them to know that I was here. Um, if they had questions about my, my painter is booked. Do you have a painter? My, my flooring guy is my company's booked right now. Do you have somebody that can come and do it? Um, you know, it's, there were just so many different areas that I helped other designers and that they equally helped me. We began to develop trust, but it took time and everything doesn't happen overnight. Just like relationships, real genuine relationships that you have don't happen overnight. People are going to watch you. They're going to listen to you. And then they're going to see if you're following through with your actions. And so I think those are things that you need to be very mindful of and be aware of um, because they're going to sense whether you're genuine or whether you're just, blow like I said, just blowing smoke and just trying to be, you know, Sally Stager down the street. That's, you know, there's a difference. People are going to see it. There's transparency. Um, and so I I just kept showing that to a lot of my designers. And like I said, there were there were a very, very select few that I couldn't get through to, but that's okay because maybe that just wasn't in my cards. And I have to be okay with that too. And that's and again getting past some insecurities, not thinking, did I do something wrong? What did I say? It was more just knowing that. They weren't, it was not in my cards. They're not supposed to be in my circle. Yeah. Sometimes rejection is protection for sure. And so just keep that in mind as you push forward. So.